and happy Thursday. I had to think for a second what day it was. It's Thursday. Yay, tomorrow is Friday. We're going to be talking about decision making today and how to make wise decisions. And this is from Breaking Busy again. Good morning. I have my co-host here with me. He wanted to be on my phone scope today. So can you say hi? Say good morning. Hi. This is Silas for those of you who are new and he likes to be on my scopes with me. So i um, so happy to have all of you here today. Um, we are going to be talking about decision making and this is from Breaking Busy by Allie Worthington. We've been talking about this book this week because I read it last week and I was so inspired by it and just wanted to share with you all what I've been learning from it. Um, so welcome, so glad to have you all here. If you are new, my name is Crystal Payne and I'm the founder of MoneySavingMom.com as well as the creator of the 14 day online course called Make Over Your Mornings. And this is Silas, my youngest, he's six. And I also have two daughters who are 10 and eight. And my husband and I have been married for 12 and a half years and we live in the Nashville, Tennessee area and we are self-employed entrepreneurs. So. That's a little bit about us. Okay, so what is this 10, 10, 10? Welcome, you're new, welcome. What is this 10, 10, 10 analysis for making wise decisions? Well, first off, um, from Breaking Busy, I wanted to read this quote to you. And it says, it was talking about decision making and it says that Direction, this is from Andy Stanley. Direction, not intentions, hopes, dreams, prayers, beliefs, intellect, or education determines destination. I know it's tempting to believe that our good intentions, aspirations, and dreams somehow have the ability to do an end run around the decisions that we make on a daily basis. Don't be making faces, okay? However, you and I will win or lose in life by the paths we choose. So that was a quote from Andy Stanley. And then Allie Worthington says, like it or not, every single decision we make takes us down the road closer to the destination that is our future. What we think, believe, hope for, study, or dream about doesn't affect the outcome of our future. The decisions we make and the actions we take do. So think about that. The decisions we make and the actions we take, that that is what determines our direction. Direction determines decision, I'm sorry, decision, direction, not intentions, hopes, dreams, prayers, beliefs, intellect, or education determines destination. Direction determines destination. So where are you headed? Really ask yourself, what choices are you making daily that are affecting where you're going? What things are you doing or not doing that are helping or hurting? Someone said they can't concentrate because you're just too cute and funny with your faces. Are you going to be a distraction? Is that what you came on for to be a distraction? <laughs> um, he's so funny. He's like, Mom, it's 730. We got to get on scope. So direction determines destination. So what choices are you making daily that are affecting where you're going? What things are you doing or not doing? that are helping or hurting, the little decisions that we make throughout the day to do that, to go there, to call that person, to not call that person, to not write that email, to not eat that piece of chocolate cake or to eat it, you know, those little things, those, that makes an impact. What things are you doing or not doing that are helping or hurting your direction? that are helping or hurting you getting where you want to go to your destination. Okay, so what is this 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 analysis? Well, in Breaking Busy, she talks about sometimes we don't have time, a lot of time to think about making a decision. So she said when she doesn't have a lot of time, she relies on Susie Welch's 10-10-10 process. 
In her book, 10, 10, 10, Welch teaches that the way to make decisions is to ask yourself how you will feel about your decision after 10 minutes, 10 months, and 10 years. Everything you do has impact. That's right. Be intentional about what impact you have, strong moms. That's so true. So the 10, 10, 10 process is to ask yourself how you will feel about your decision after 10 minutes, 10 months, and 10 years. So when you're struggling to make a decision and you're struggling to know what is it, I just blocked the wrong person on accident. When you're struggling to know what is it that you, what, what direction should you take? Where should you go? What should your answer be? Have you ever made mistakes? I've made so many mistakes. If you go to uh, moneymakingmombook.com, you can sign up for my free five-day course on how I make a full-time income from home. And that is basically all about so many mistakes that I made. So ask yourself before you make a decision, how are you gonna feel about this decision after 10 minutes, 10 months, and 10 years? That really, really challenged me, and I thought that that's a great way to approach decision making. Sometimes we don't have months and months, but before we say yes or before we say no, think about how am I going to feel about this decision in 10 minutes? Sometimes we have to have that awkward no, like we talked about earlier, where we'll make a decision and then you know what? We'll decide that, uh, in 10 minutes, we don't feel so good about it because it was an awkward no. But how are we going to feel about it in 10 months? That gives you much more perspective. And how are you going to feel about it in 10 years? So if you have a decision that you are having to make or you come upon a decision today that you need to make and you're just not sure what to do, ask yourself, how am I going to feel about this in 10 months? 10 minutes, 10 months, and 10 years. I think I would add 10 days too. I like that, Busy Nothings Mom. That's that's a good one as well. Because, And I think because so much of the time we'll make a decision because it feels good right now. It feels good right now in this moment. But in 10 months, is it going to feel good? In 10 years, is it going to feel good? Is it going to feel right? Is it going to be right for your family? Is it going to be right for yourself in 10 months from now? It might be a hard and awkward no in those first 10 minutes that will save you so much misery and heartache and stress over the next 10 months and 10 years. So that is what I wanted to share with you today. I, if you struggle to make wise decisions with your time, I wanted to recommend that you check out my book. It's an ebook that is on Amazon called 21 Days to a More Disciplined Life. I haven't talked about this book on Scope before, but it's on um, Amazon, 21 Days to More Discipline Life, and it is just a very simple book to walk you through daily how to get more discipline in your life, how to make wise decisions about your time. Mara, you're so right. Those little decisions add up. We are where we are because of those seemingly small choices. So 21 Days to More Discipline Life is on Amazon and also my book, someone else mentioned, Say Goodbye to Survival Mode. This is also on Amazon and this is especially for moms who if you're struggling with how do I, how do I use my time effectively? And you're deciding, you know, you want to make wise choices with your time. You want to live with intention. Say Goodbye to Survival Mode is a book that I think will really encourage you. You should be able to get it at your library. Um, most libraries carry it, but it's also available on Amazon. So that's what I wanted to encourage you with today. Uh-uh, don't be making funny faces. <laughs> Uh-oh, or I'm going to kick you off my scope. Okay. <laughs> and at 3 p.m., I'm going to be doing a scope on, a money-making mom scope on how to be a Pinterest rock star. So if you are wondering how we do Pinterest, what our Pinterest strategy is, what I pin, I've told you about how we pin 50 to 70 posts every single day on multiple boards and how by being strategic, strategic on Pinterest, we've increased our unique visitors by 500,000 for months and months and months and months and months and months and months. So this afternoon, I'm going to 
unveil or give you a little peek behind the scenes as to our Pinterest strategy, how that works, what that looks like for us. Might not work for you, but I hope it will inspire you and give you some ideas of how to use Pinterest well. So that will be at 3 p.m. Central Time, how to be a Pinterest rock star. And then tomorrow, remember that we are going to do our Friday Ask Me Anything scope. So if you have questions you'd love to ask or you have anything that you want to talk about or um, ask more about that I've talked about on scope this week, bring that tomorrow morning around 7.30 a.m. and we will do an Ask Me Anything scope. And maybe we'll have Mr. Co-host again. I don't know. Okay. So that's what I want to share with you today. Go make wise decisions and remember to ask yourself, how is this going to make me feel in 10 minutes, 10 months, and 10 years? Have a great day and I'll see you at 3 p.m.